The most common types of electric gauges in our classic British cars are what are referred to as moving iron gauges and thermal gauges. Now before we get to look inside and see what the differences are between these two types of gauges, let's find out what they have in common. What they have in common is a device called a sending unit. Okay, and these are located in various places throughout the car. This particular one lives inside a gas tank. Now here's what happens. You'll see there's a tab here for an electric terminal. Electricity enters into the gauge on the dashboard here, travels through the gauge, and comes out here, and goes right to the sending unit. Now inside the sending unit, you're going to see there's a bobbin, a very fine wire. So the electricity enters here and goes into the bobbin. As the sending unit is activated, moving up and down in this particular case, the resistance that the electricity encounters trying to get to ground changes. If it's way up here, there's very little. If it's way down there, there's a lot. So what happens is, by the way that the sending unit is operating, more or less electricity will travel through the gauge, and the gauge will read more or less. To illustrate the point, if we think for a moment, for example, if we have a length of garden hose, we connect one end of it to the hose bib on the side of a house, we lay the rest of it across the lawn, but in the middle of the, of the garden hose, we're going to put a pressure gauge. Now, we turn the key on wide open. Water's flowing through. Whenever you have a fluid or a gas traveling through a, a channel like that, you're going to have a bit of back pressure. The gauge now reads a little bit of pressure. Now, if I go over to the far end of that hose and I just squeeze it a little bit, I offer some resistance, what's going to happen inside the line? I'm going to get back pressure, and that gauge is going to read more. If I squeeze it more, the gauge will read more, and if I choke it off, the gauge will read all the way. Well, these gauges don't read, re don't read pressure, per se, but they read resistance. Okay, So the amount of flow going through is what they're going to respond to. Now, in our next video, we're going to talk about exactly what goes on inside here and how it works.